Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Midnight Mumble Podcast Edition, episode number 18. We're almost at 20. I'm your host, Kay, also known as Kamikaze Strawberry. And with me today is my co host, Durman! Da, da, da. Also known as Durman. Oh, snap. So today on this episode, we will be answering questions about movies and just overall talking about it. But yes. uh, you wanted to do something fancy before we began. Yeah, we're going to talk about not movies first. Holy cow, mind blown. So, yeah, like, you know, a professional podcast. I don't want to be a professional podcast. You don't? No. Can you say that with a straight face? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to do a podcast. I want to go to work and get annoyed every day. I don't want to stay home and talk to my boyfriend. That's his mimicking me voice. It sounds That's very lifelike, don't you think? Highly accurate. It practiced, you know, spend a few hours practicing every day. I always sound like that in the morning. See? See? It's Spot on. But Uh, so did you any do anything special this week? I did some streaming this week. Fantastic. Cause, oh, I also had a jury summons on Monday, which is the reason why I was able to stream on Wednesday, as odd as it sounds. But most of you know I get weekly headaches, and they usually happen nowadays around Wednesday and Thursday. So when we were at jury duty, waiting to be, you know, picked or not picked, going through the whole spiel of questions on either side it uh i don't know if it was just a stress headache or if it was because the courtroom when we would walk in it would be nice and cold and then after a while all the body heat just started warming it up so there was no escaping the heat and then we'd go back into the hallway for a break and it'd be cold and then it'd be hot so it's just like ah but the funny yeah. thing about it is, after it was all said and done, nobody got picked. Because <laughs> there wasn't enough people. It was funny. but no. Really hilarious. Yeah. So All oh, that... It was like, what, 50 some odd people? Yeah, it was like 52 people. And they dwindled it down because they have to, you know, make sure you can follow the law and blah, blah, blah. And so after that, there was like 20 something left. And each side got to strike 10 people. So I guess... If each side struck down, like, separate people, then there would only be eight people left. <laughs> which is definitely not enough for a 12-person jury. Which is a shame. Because yeah. if it was just a misdemeanor, they could have had their pick of six. So, uh, did you get around to watching 12 Angry Men afterwards? No, but... Speaking uh, of movies. Yeah. <laughs> It all comes full circle. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but no, I really do want to. But I don't have the movie, believe it or not. It's one of the movies that I don't have. But, uh, like, Half Price Books and uh, Movie Training Company are doing sales this weekend. So I might go and see if they have it. There you go. Then I can finally watch it again. Woo. Because I saw it maybe once or twice before because I got it from the library. And I really liked it. I saw most of it once. A long time ago. I like it. I like most black and white movies, though. There's just something about them. Uh, you won't like Attack of the the Eye Creatures. <laughs> well, now I kind of want to watch it just because <laughs> that title is horrid. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater episode. We'll get to it. Oh, good. Something else we need to do. There's so much to do and so little time of which to do it. Yes. Or not. It also helps. It. it also helps when I say, "You want to watch a movie?" You could say, "Yes." Nah, that's too easy. <laughs> I don't want to make it easy on you. <laughs> and you'll be used to it. And you'll be like, "Hey, want to do this?" And then the one time I'll say no, you'll just look at me like, <gasps> "What? You Who said, even are you? You said no." So see, I'm getting you used to the no and the maybes. That way you're not used to I all get, the I yeses. Get celebrations when you finally say yes to something. Exactly. 
exactly. I get to do something I want to do for once. Hooray. You have like the little confetti going off. Be like, <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> oh my. It sounds like something else though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I streamed Tuesday night and then I streamed again Wednesday. Wednesday I streamed for a whole four hours. Whoa. I think that's the longest I've ever streamed. I think. And then the rest of the time I was at work. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, last week, only worked like two days. So, yeah, I had a bunch of stuff that I had to do when I got there. And yesterday was pretty much a wash. I spent the whole day walking bicycles across the building. Did you do what I said and put them on leashes? Yes, they're all on a leash. <laughs> no, they don't go <clears throat> cycling off. <laughs> yes. That would not be a good thing. Um, but I also saw about taking a, uh, a assessment to see if I could get into a position of management. Ooh. But I am too reasonable of a human being, so I didn't pass. Oh, dear. Was like, oh, you, you take the assessment. It's like, yeah, this is the sort of thing that I think I would do. It's like, oh, yeah, this would be a good sort of thing to do. Nope, that's not the way to do it. You got to be cutthroat. You got to follow the policies. So now I don't get to actually take that assessment again until November. Aw. Well, uh, then you'll know you have to be cutthroat and follow the policies. Yeah. We'll, it sucks. Just, I'll, I'll try another tactic for filling in the questions this time. As a fellow assistant manager, it sucks. <laughs> the pay also just, sucks, but you know. I just want to be a department manager. Yeah. But in, anyway. a, in a way, we kind of are, because there's usually like two or three of us, and one will be in charge of one section, the other will be in charge of the other section. Mm hmm. But uh, it's not like an assistant manager position to just be over one area of the store. Mm. But anyway, um, also I did some cooking this week. Oh, uh, they're a chef. <laughs> I got the uh, the Discworld cookbook or Nanny Ogg's cookbook is what <laughs> it's called. And I made genuine Hwundaland curry. Oh, it's a fairly basic curry, and it's pretty tasty. I, in fact, just had the uh, the leftovers for lunch. Oh, that's what you had for lunch. Yes. See, I had a very late breakfast of blueberry bagels <laughs> and cream cheese. There you go. It's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> but let's see. I also, this week, played a little bit more Marvel Heroes. Like, it's getting to the point where I'm kind of having some trouble leveling, and I still have, like, 20 levels to go. <laughs> and that's kind of a downer. Mm -hmm. um, but I also managed to get into my Guild Wars 2 account. And uh, so I've been playing that. And I'm enjoying that. I, I found, well, I started a new character with, a, uh, with the Mesmer class, which is a cool sort of class, because basically what you're doing is you're shooting magic at the bad guys and making clones of yourself to fight the bad guys as well. <laughs> so, like, they draw the attention off of you. That's cool. And uh, it, it's pretty cool, yeah. And one of the weapons that I can use is the great sword. So, like, hold out the great sword in front of me uh, and, like, shoot laser beams out of it. The great laser sword. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, and it's like, uh, it does like like the laser attack. The further away you are, the more damage it does. Ooh. So that's kind of nifty. Um, but beyond that, I finally got my main character up to level eighty. After it sat at level uh, seventy nine for the last two years. <laughs> like I was like half of the way to seventy nine. No, it's half of the way to 80, and it sat that way for a really long time. Then I logged in once, and I played a little bit more, and I got it like a quarter of the way to 80. Oh, my goodness. Or like a quarter of the way left, and then I stopped playing again. And then I let it sit for two years, and then I came back this time and <laughs> played it for like 20 minutes. Hey, you're level 80. What a funny story. 
Uh, it was ridiculous. But now I've got a whole bunch of like boosts and stuff because I hadn't played for so long. Ooh. Like, each of the characters that I'd had for this long has two experience boosters that basically put your character to level 20 if they aren't there yet. Oh. So I actually just did that with one of the characters that I had sitting around. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that with my new character or not just because I'm having some fun just uh, leveling up like normal. Plus, it's not really that far behind. It's not that much of a boost. The first 10, 20 levels go by pretty quickly. I usually do. Yeah. But the nice thing, the really cool thing about Guild Wars is that you don't have to, like, half of your abilities are based off of your weapon. Uh And your weapon doesn't level. Like, with World of Warcraft, you have different weapon skills, and you have to level those up. And if you want to try a new weapon, you have to, like, go and fight boars so you can actually hit something. Ah, With this, you can just switch your weapons on the fly, and that gives you different abilities. And those abilities are set for the weapon. Oh. It's like, okay, I'm going to use this weapon, you get these abilities. And that's really nice, because that means half of it is just done for you. You don't have to think about it. Hmm. And then you have, like, uh, class-based things that you can also get that are, you know, separate. But it's really nice, because it's like, okay, I want to... Like, when I was trying out the Mesmer, like, I started out with a staff... And that was working pretty well. And then I tried the great sword, and I really liked the great sword. And then I found like a two-handed staff, and I liked that. Up, I liked that pretty well. But I went back to the great sword. But I just switch it, and it's there. You go. It's very slick. I always tend to have like one weapon on one hand, one on the other. That way, I just ah. <laughs> there are two hand. There are two uh, handed weapon classes, or uh, like double weapon classes, That's and you can switch between two. Oh. Like, you can have one weapon set up and then have a secondary weapon set up. Oh, kind of like Torchlight. Torchlight had that. Mm. But this also has uh, aquatic combat, and that has its own weapons. Ooh. You can get spear guns and tridents. You could be King Triton! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So anyway, uh, I think we should... That's probably enough talking about random things. Let's go to movies! I also, before we commence our movies, I got a boom arm for my microphone and I've got a pop filter, which I'm holding in my hand because I accidentally bought the really tiny one. With a really lame, like, lack of attachment (laughs) thing. Well, it has an attachment thing that's like, what, two inches away? It's really pathetic. You can't even bend it. I don't even know how you're supposed to attach that to any microphone. Well, it... I think it would be easy to do with yours, the snowball, because then you could just have like something in front of it, and you can move the clamp to face it. So but yeah, that like... that I would need to have a separate fixture for the pop filter. See, if I had something above the Yeti, this would work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. So I'm I'm gonna try to see if I could DIY something together because yeah. I don't wanna go buy another yeah the pop filter that i have is somewhat substantially bigger it's like six inches across and it has i wanted to get and it has a bendy arm that attaches to the uh to the arm that i have see she actually got a microphone boom arm i have a boom arm desk lamp that i took the light fixture out of and i just have the microphone (laughs) sitting in in, in the top of it it, it works because, you know, it's the blue snowball, so it just sits there, but... Yeah, it works beautifully. Mine screws in so it doesn't move around, because it's really heavy, but it works really great, and it wasn't even that expensive. Like, the now, only I... thing I don't like is when it wobbles, I think you can hear it, so I might have to get a shock mount. Though I did have to disable half of the springs on this thing. Like, there's a, uh, the top part of it you know, would move with the weight of the of the snowball, so I had to take a piece of wire, <laughs> wrap it around the two pegs that the uh, spring is mounted to, and then, like, like, wrap it around and then tie it off so that that particular spring can't, like, stretch any further. Aha! Mine's really cool, because it's got, like, the gaps in it, so you can wind the uh, cord that plugs into the computer from the microphone around it, so it's not in your way. I mean, it doesn't look as great, but it's out of the way. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Movies! Yay! 
There's Let's do movies. so many movies. I do movies every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Just about. Pretty much. Working at a See, movie that's, theater. That's why you never want to watch movies with me. It's true. And it's really hard to like go see a movie. The only reason why I saw um, the one that I saw, the uh, the Avengers movie, was because, you know, I really wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. So, But even then, even if I really want to see it, sometimes I don't go see it. Like the Hobbit movie, the last one, I really wanted to go see it. I didn't see it until I pre-ordered it and it came in the mail and I watched it like a couple of days later. Yeah, and it wasn't good at all. I mean, it was decent. I liked it. <laughs> but I haven't read the book all the way through, so. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, the the romance in that one. See, I don't like it when it's a really good action film and stuff, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, two of the characters fall in love. It's like, really? Do we have to have that? I don't. If I wanted to watch a romantic movie, I would go watch a romantic movie. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. I'm not that kind of a person. I like me some action, some psychological thriller, some blows stuff up. <laughs> You've got to have... Uh... I want the boom boom. Oh, look. They, they've, they've got something they're fighting for. They're in love. I hate it. That's mm -hmm. why... Okay, no, I won't talk about that because that could be a spoiler. So I won't. <laughs> Even though everybody and their mother has probably seen the Avengers movie. <laughs> yeah, but see, that that I didn't mind so much. Like I the, wonder in, in, if they fell in love in the comic books. I well, don't follow the Marvel comics. I don't know if they ever did. I don't think they ever did in the comics. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's uh, that's something that's in comic books. Like having romantic relationships mm -hmm. is something that is in comic books. So see, I don't see I don't see that as being a problem. I don't know. I just I don't know. I mean, I liked that it was those two that fell in love. It, it was mm -hmm. kind of nice. Oh, my goodness, but phone. Also, uh, the first movie, they didn't have a romantic thing in it. Mm -mm. So in the second one, you know, the part of the team has been together for a while. So they, you know, get to know each other better. So you have that. That's true. But anyway. Um, so... Yeah, the most recent new release that we've both seen is uh, Avengers. Yep. Um, It'll more sing. recently than that, though, I went and saw the Rift Tracks live event of The Room. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Rift Tracks is basically Mystery Science Theater 3000. And Mystery Science Theater 3000 was a TV show in which a guy was in a theater with a couple of robots making fun of really cheesy old movies. And that was the premise of the show. So basically, these guys just wrote jokes that were, you know, tied in with what's happening in the movie, and then they just kind of shout them at the screen as the movie's playing. And Rift Tracks does that now, and with newer movies. Okay. So, like, they've done, like, the Transformers movies, they've done the Star Wars movies... I've done, like, oh, almost I, every movie you could think of, almost. Not even close. Yeah. But lots of them. They've done lots of them. They even did all of the, uh, like, Marvel Phase 1 movies. Um, but anyway, so... That was the next thing I watched, the riff tracks of The Room. If you haven't seen The Room, I suggest you don't. It that looks movie hurts. awful. It is so bad. <laughs> Before I saw the announcement of that, I was watching somebody live stream a Flash game that was based off of the movie, and it was just <laughs> horribly hilarious. Because she was getting drunk while she was playing it, and it was just funny. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that movie is not good. You do not want to see that movie unless you have to. And if you have to, try to get out of it. <laughs> it looks awful. It hurts so bad. Oh my goodness. Nothing makes sense. I think that's another reason why I didn't go see it. <laughs> I don't remember why I didn't go. Besides the fact that working at a movie theater has made me hate going to the movies. Yeah. Because I want to relax. And if I go to a movie theater, even if it isn't the one that I work at, it's still... I don't know. 
It, it hits the work buttons. It does, and I don't want that. I want to relax and enjoy stuff. Like, I put things together for a living. Today, no, Sunday, mm -hmm. my mother is going to be picking up the headboard for my new bed. <laughs> and I'm going to have to put it together. And I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I just don't want to do anything work-related. Which but, is uh, why I think I've never actually delved into the IT things. I don't want computers to become work. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Now, earlier this year, we went and saw The Kingsman, and we saw that together. Which is fantastic. I love it. I'm probably going to go buy it. Yeah, that was a pretty cool movie. It was interesting because it was extremely violent, but it wasn't particularly gory. Yeah, it was weird. Like, it would, you know, decapitate. The ha -ha 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 -ha, a guy then... gets split in half down the middle. But you don't see that much blood. And it's not gory. It's funny, though, because we have that movie at our theater, and every time that one song plays, I just grin and giggle because I remember the scene. <laughs> the one where they're at the church. And then all. Yeah, Freebird. Yeah. It's funny. I, I, autom I, I automatically give some respect to a movie that uses the Freebird solo during an action scene. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic solo, I and it works love great. It because the bad guy doesn't act like you would expect him to act, and you know, there's a whole bunch. Of, it's just so much fun. If you haven't yeah. seen it and you like stuff like that, go see it. That's one we can recommend. Yes, full heartedly. Because it's a uh, it's a comic book movie. It was mm -hmm. based off of a comic or a graphic novel. I think it's a graphic novel. And uh, yeah, it's, you can definitely get that feel from it it has all of the hallmarks of a uh, of a graphic novel mm -hmm. uh, so speaking of it not exactly m uh, movies but close i saw the first episode of daredevil last night oh ho, ho, ho. and was uh, that was good yeah it's like a completely different tone than all the other marvel stuff that's like, it's what much I darker Ooh. And uh, there is really uh, mild nudity and whatnot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's but really good. It's solid. Hmm. First episode anyway. But I hear that it's like the same all the way through. You know, you've got good action with good mm -hmm. choreography, um, good camera work. Uh, actors do their job very well. Hmm. So, yeah, the hitting on all cylinders. That's what I've heard. And it's really good. Also, it was nice that they were continuously referencing, um, like the Avengers, like the first Avengers movie. Uh huh. As they like get in office, and they're like, uh, "Yeah, the only reason we can afford this is because uh, after the Battle of New York, the prices went down." <laughs> Talking about all the renovation, all the renovation and construction in the area. That's funny finally afford to live in New York. I hear it's expensive up there. Mm. Like California. Why would you even? Yeah. I don't I don't see the appeal of living in that kind of urban metropolis. No, see I wouldn't either. Too much city for my taste. <laughs> you live in an area of more city for my taste. Ha ha ha. But it's not even that bad. It's bad enough. Like, you go downtown it's worse. I live in a city of around 10,000 people. Yeah, he lives in a teeny tiny, not even city. It's more of a It's town. a city. It's more of a town. It's a city. Police. According to the records, it's a city. My city could eat your city for breakfast. Probably. <laughs> and then spit you out because you didn't have enough uh, city in it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's raining, apparently. It's been uh, raining see. and going to be raining. That's the weather. Let's see. What are the... Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite... Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have pretty much the same answer. Okay. I'm really bad at this. Uh, favorite movie? Oh, jeez. That's impossible to do because... Uh, Name a couple of your favorite movies. Okay, that's still not easy. <laughs> this is coming from the person who would rattle off a whole bunch of favorites from the console, so... 
Ah, uh, I don't even have my movie collection right by me, so let's see. <laughs> What's in the other Name room? a couple of movies that if you had them in front of you, you would watch them right now. Okay, we're going to exclude animated movies and live action movies because I really like animated movies. That's uh, fine. The 80s Transformers cartoon movie would probably be there. <laughs> I love it. I uh, like it. has Eric Idle in it. Exactly. And Leonard Nimoy as Galvatron. Mm hmm. And I Orson just... Welles. Really like it. Let's see. I've got it on VHS, but I don't think it's the actual. It's like the cut version. It's not the whole uh. version, which is really upsetting. But it's on VHS. Um, we're gonna go with the whole Star Wars original trilogy, and not the ones that I have on DVD. We're going back to the VHS where Lucas didn't slowly start to add to it mm. horribly the original thx remaster yes i have those twice yes. i've got the collection box set and then i've got one of i think it's an older one actually of a new hope because it's got the really cool artwork on it disney may or may not be re-releasing the original thx theatrical cut if they do i'm pre-ordering that <laughs> I absolutely love that version. Yeah, it's the best one. I'm pretty sure it will sell better than the Blu-rays that they released because the Blu-rays are just awful. No. I don't even have the Blu-rays because yeah. I don't want to. No, it's like no. The I, only worthwhile, line. the only worthwhile thing that they did in the Blu-ray re-release, like with the extra additions that they put in, mm -hmm. was making the Ewoks blink. That was a good idea. <laughs> Ewoks no blink why you ruin <laughs> <laughs> stop ruining Star Wars how dare you let's see um another movie oh gosh what's it called uh it's an animated Batman film oh gosh what is the name of it uh, Mask of the Phantasm and, oh gosh, it's a new one. They released it in two parts. Oh, what's it called? I can't think of it! Batman uh, The Dark Knight Returns? That one, yes! I love that one. I will put it on just to rewatch certain scenes. Because I just absolutely love it. Stop laughing. <laughs> I have the graphic novel, too. I watched this movies first, and then I read the graphic novel, and I'm like, yep, graphic novel's better. I have that, too. I also have the 1940s uh, serials. I have the riff DVD. tracks of the 1940s serials. <laughs> I bet those are fun. I haven't actually watched them yet. I've watched half of it, because they're really long, so I haven't watched it all. And because she didn't actually say what it was I was holding up, I have the Batman uh, 1970s TV show, 1960s TV show movie. Yep. Shark repellent. <laughs> Love it. Robin, hand me down the shark repellent bat spray. <laughs> I love how cheesy it was. It's just oh, so man. funny. Uh, now I want to watch it. <laughs> I think anything Batman related, no matter, except for The Dark Knight Rises, I would probably rewatch all over again. Those are probably my favorite. Because The Dark Knight Rises, it was good, but it was also bad. You can leave out the uh, Batman and Robin movie. No, because I like it because it's cheesy. Uh, I, like che I like all of the Batman That one movies. kind of hurts. <laughs> now, uh, Batman Returns with... Uh, Jim Carrey as the Riddler and Tommy uh, Jones as Two Face. Yes, that was, good, that was a fun movie. That was a fun movie. Uh, I want to rewatch them all now. <laughs> I don't think I have those on DVD. I've only got them on VHS, so I can't watch them in here. Bah, lame. Um, there's something else I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, probably. It, it's a live action film. Well, that narrows it down. Uh. Manos, the hands of fate. No. Oh. Uh, the girl in gold boots? No. 
You're not even close. The mole people? No. Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. They're live action movies. I gotta be close. Uh, <laughs> not even. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Oh, Spaceballs! Spaceballs the movie! I love it. Ah, uh, yes. That's a, that's a good Mel Brooks movie. It's probably my favorite, but I've only seen like a couple of his movies, so. That's a really good one. Young Frankenstein is really good. Um, it's Frankenstein. I kind of like. I, I have a soft spot for uh, Dracula dead and loving it. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that one. My it's mom a, has like the like complete Mel Brooks movies on Blu-ray. I should borrow it sometime. Mm -hmm. I'm already currently borrowing a TV show from her that I haven't even started watching yet. Uh, see, Blazing yeah. Saddles was a really good movie. I like that one a lot. I haven't seen that one either. Oh, Robin God. Hood Men in Tights. That one's hilarious. The Producers. I haven't seen his that one. first movie. That one was actually really quite good. Is that that one with what's his name in it? Matthew Broderick. Yeah. No, okay. that's the re remake. That's the remake. Ah. And it's not nearly as good. The original one had Gene Wilder. Oh. See, I didn't even see the Matthew Broderick one. I just see it on shelves, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. There's but, something no, else I'm forgetting. Person. I can't think of it. I used <laughs> to have a top five, and now I kind of. Yeah. See, I'm I'm pretty bad at naming my favorite movies. For but visuals, I really liked. Don't be mad, but I really liked the. Uh, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Tron, Tron Legacy. I really like the visuals in that one. I kind of liked that movie. And I loved... My brother and I saw it like three times at my theater. That tells you something. The music makes that movie. I love the music. I bought it's the Daft right. Punk. I know, right? Love it. Oh, my. Okay, I think I'm done. What's your favorite? Okay. Let's see. I, I do have my movies like right next to me so I can look at some ah, of them. Cheater! <laughs> key, key, key. Let's see. Uh, Not fair. You should blindfold yourself and stop looking at it. You're still looking at it. Stop looking I've at it. Bah! Bah! <laughs> I've always liked Kung Pao Enter the Fist as a goofy movie. <gasps> um, goofy movie! The goofy movie? The goofy movie! And an extremely goofy movie. I love those. Um, oh my goodness, I didn't even touch up on Disney movies. Oh god. <laughs> I'm horrible! Oh, what's she that? likes Disney and Pixar movies. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like all of them. Cars was not my favorite, believe it or not. Eh, yeah, Cars isn't it. Well, I, I take it back. The first one was kind of cute. The second one was really dumb. Yeah, the second one, yeah. Planes? I didn't like Planes. I didn't like A Bug's Life. I loved A Bug's Life! I like, like every every Pixar movie except A Bug's Life. Or was it Ants I should watch I it again, honestly. I haven't seen it in a long time. I have it on VHS. Mm. Somebody had like a sale on VHS tapes, and I bought like all the Disney ones because it counted those, so they were like 50 cents. I'm like, mine, 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 mine. <gasps> I've got a bunch of old Disney VHSs. I've got like Aladdin and whatnot. Aladdin is... No, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin are probably my favorite. Because I've always envied Belle's library that she gets at the end. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> like, I want that! See, my favorite Disney Pixar movie... Oh, my. I really want to rewatch The Lion King. I don't remember that much about it. I, I want to say, nowadays, it might be Wally. -E. Wally. -E. Believe it or I not, I have not seen that movie. You haven't? No, I you have not. Watch that sometime. I know it's on my. Um, I've got like a really, 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 really long list of to watch movies. Well, see, one of my favorite things about it is that like the first, like a, the first big chunk of the movie, there is practically no dialogue. <gasps> Just fantastic. What? Um, That's but uh, yeah, I mean, beyond that, I I always liked Toy Story. Um, mm. that sort of thing. Favorite silent film, Metropolis. I have like three different versions of that. Um, 
I can't believe My I favorite that. silent film, jeez. Because it was funny, though, because I was really into anime at one point. I still kind of am. But my favorite mangaka was Osamu Tezuka. And he did a comic called Metropolis. So I read it, and I really liked it. And then I found out there was a movie based off of it. An anime you, one. You have oh there, okay an anime it's an, version. It's an anime version. So I watched that and then I found out that it was based off of a really really old silent film. So I went out, found it, watched it, loved it. So I've got three like VHS copies because one of them doesn't quite work, and then I've got two DVD versions. One's like better quality than the other, and then I've got the remade soundtrack kind of because when i watched it it was on youtube i'm horrible i know but i couldn't find the uh the original track music so somebody had recreated the music and so i got that album and hmm. it's really good yeah it's been long enough since i've seen any of that movie that i don't i can't really have a good opinion on it hmm. but uh i think i've got a dvd of it somewhere um, but silent movies, I like Charlie Chaplin movies. Mm -hmm. Um, but let's see. Anyway, other <laughs> favorite movies of mine, I quite like I, Robot, believe That's it or good. not. Sort of a guilty pleasure. I mean, some people don't like that. No, I like it. I've, I've um, actually seen it like three times. Clue is a fantastic movie. How have I not mentioned that? I love that one. Such a good movie. I love it. Let us in. Let us in. Airplane is good. <laughs> uh, Top Secret, made by the same people, also really good. Oh. Um, I like Hot Shots. So creepy. Now, one that I really quite like is Master and Commander The Far Side of the World. Is that the one with what's his name in it? Uh Mike uh Michael Crow. Russell Crow. Russell Crow. Russell yeah, Crow. that one is really good. I have Yeah, it's a solid movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. And beyond that Hmm. I liked it's hard to pick, it's I'm I have a really hard time picking out favorite movies. Cuz there are lots of ones that I really like but I can't really think of one that I would just sit down and watch over and over again. Hmm. Now when I was younger, I sat down and watched Kung Pao Enter the Fist over and over again. <laughs> oh, the Star Trek movies. Star all Trek. Of them. Let's see. All of them. Not all of them, not even close <laughs> to all of them. The first one, the motion picture, so bad. <laughs> it's boring. I have them on Blu-ray. I've got the set. Well, there you go. Let's see. The second one, uh, Wrath of Khan, very good movie. Ooh, really good, yes. Um, I guess after that... I really like the ones with the Next Generation crew in it. Yes. Um, Those are probably Generations, good. I think, is underrated. That one's really good. I, I like that one a lot. I like Nemesis. First, Nemesis. I, they kind of jumped the shark with Nemesis. Eh, I like it. Wait, no. Nemesis. It's the one with the... Uh, uh, what is he? Romulan? They took, like, Picard's blood and they yeah, made a clone. Yeah, that, that's the one where they jumped the shark. That was not a good movie. I didn't mm. like that one. Um, first Contact was good. First Contact was good. I kind of like Insurrection. It's been a while since I've seen that one, but I think I like it too. It's it's not I great, haven't. but I kind of like it. Now I want to rewatch all of them. <laughs> <coughs> I think I've got all of them. Uh, let's see. I'm Are there not so sure. Movies that I quite like. I like National Treasure. It's another guilty seek, uh, guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> guilty seek. <laughs> guilty seek. I seek guilty out the guilt. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is really good fun. I haven't seen that one. Oh, you need to see that one. I, I, I think I... No, no, I haven't seen it. I keep meaning to, but I've never actually 
is quality. Been able to. Now there's a a couple of of small small name movies like independent films that I quite like. Um, the Gamers and The Gamers Two: Darkness Rising. <laughs> They're basically about people playing Dungeons and Dragons, oh. and like while they're playing it like the the uh action goes to their characters in world doing stuff oh that's kind of cool yeah it's 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 a lot of fun and like you know they do stuff with dice rolls and like you hear the dice going in the background and then the characters change what they're doing it's hilarious there's a foreign film i absolutely loved it was a french one but for the life of me, I can never remember the name of it. I don't hmm. remember that much about it, except the main character was young. And she eventually ends up going to her boss. I think she worked as a maid or something. And she ends up walking up to her boss and quitting for some reason. I don't remember. I think it was like a thriller movie, so the boss may have murdered somebody. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember it was really good. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I kind of like Godzilla movies. Godzilla! I mean, they're definitely not high cinema, but, you know, I, I enjoy them. Well, it doesn't have to be high cinema to enjoy them. Yes. Um, is there anything else? Eh, I guess that's probably about it. That'll do. <gasps> Secret Window, the one with Johnny Depp. I like that one. Animal Crackers with the Marx Brothers. <laughs> Fantastic movie. I think it's funny. I really it's... like the movies that are based off of Stephen King books, but I don't like Stephen King books. Yeah. It's hilarious. They're just so tedious. <sighs> well... I think that about wraps it up for favorite movies. It only took us like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what's next? We could go on to some of the questions. That may take us some time in conversation. Okay. We've got a list of questions here. We do! Thanks, everybody, for your questions via Facebook and Twitter. Let's actually start with our questions. Oh, that's no fun. Well, it makes sense, you know, if you ask I me. I guess so. So, we'll go with mine first, because I thought of it first. I was actually the first person to give a question to this podcast. You're welcome. <laughs> there. So, my question is, what did you do? I, I just rearranged it, so. It's so funny, I can't see it unless I click editing. If I click just viewing, it won't let me see what you just read it. <laughs> annoying but my question is if you were stuck with one movie series which series would it be like this is the only movie series you could watch now do we take into account like for example the marvel cinematic universe does that count as multiple series or one series it counts as one series technically because they flow into each other okay <laughs> so is that yours? <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. Because, I mean, for one thing, it's a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. But for another thing, most of the Iron... Like, if you count all three Iron Man movies as one movie, more than half of the movie is worthless. Um, that third one was just meh. Because, I mean, there are only so many, like, long series of movies. Mm-hmm. But you're stuck so, with them for all eternity. What would you pick? Okay. Here's my choice. The Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Blu-ray set. Oh. With, with all four commentary tracks. Oh. Because that is a lot of content. That is a lot of content. Even just the extended is a lot of content. Yeah, because, I mean, that's, you know, what, lot. 12 hours of movie or so. And then you have that four more times with the different commentary tracks. Yep. They're all interesting. Yep. 
especially also if we count the uh, the DVDs of the behind the scenes stuff, which is you know part of the movie. That's way too much stuff. <laughs> that's that's my pick. This movie was really long. Here's the extended version of it. That's what I feel when they re-release the extended versions. It's like, how much more content did you have? Well, okay, let me let me do a quick visual demonstration here. This is the set. This this is how thick it is. I know I have it. The book is this thick and bigger. It's kind of funny then. So yeah, the the extended edition DVDs they may be you know. There may be a lot to them and lots of discs and whatnot, but when you have to remember that the trees that the book is printed on are thicker than all of the like packing material that the movies are in. Still, it's a lot of content. It's a lot of content. Which is why okay. you're picking it. That That's and why I'm picking it. You really, they're, really like the series. They're good. Like, I didn't used to like them as much as I do now because I kind of came to the conclusion that they probably did as best as they could. Um, to make the Lord of the Rings into movies. Mm -hmm. But, really yeah, they're also, I, I just like them, and they're well done, and all that stuff. Mine, I'm having a difficult decision between two. Can you guess which two they are? Uh, Star Wars. Yeah. And Star Trek? No! What does my desk mostly consist of? Batman? Yes! Okay. I'm having a very difficult decision. Because well, on one hand, I really like Star Wars. But then that means I'm stuck watching episode two. Okay, here's the question. All eternity. Yeah, if I know. If you're doing Batman, which series of Batman? Exactly, the difficult part. I would probably pick the animated series sets. Like Are those the... actually a series? Well, yes and no. It's a series because it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. Yes, they it have does. to have the same continuity. Ah. Uh, and that makes it really difficult. Because then you've got, you know, if you do the first one, then you've got four movies with uh, two with Michael Keaton, one with Val Kilmer, and one with George Clooney. Mm-hmm. Or you have three with... Uh, Christian with Bale. One, with Christian Bale. One of which is meh. Although you get the Dark Knight and that one's really good. I also like... Uh, the first movie. I can't remember what it's called. Batman Begins. Yeah, I like that movie. I like that one too. Uh, you know what? No, I'll go with Star Wars. I love me some Batman, but Star Wars hits the spot. Yep. Plus, you also have the added advantage of more Star Wars movies coming. That's true. That's true. Please be good. Ah. <laughs> well, we've got J.J. Uh, Abrams at the helm, so there are there is that hope. That's my favorite movies. Oh my goodness, the ones that he did for Star Trek. Yep. Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. How could I forget those? It's really good. I love the battle oh, sequence oops. in Star Trek Into the Darkness. It's just so cool. I have the posters for that. It's a perk for working in a movie theater. The posters. I got the little uh, miniature spaceship with the collector's edition. Nice. And the uh, uh, the tin case. Ooh. See, mine just has a slipcover. They both have the slipcover. Okay, so that's that movie. Well, that's that question. <laughs> that's that movie. That's that movie. Now let's go on to the next movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next question is from me. <gasps> Hi, me. Hi, me. What big name movie do you want to see remade? I didn't give this much consideration when you typed it down. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Big name movie. Oh, goodness me. Uh, oh, dear. I can't, I can't think of any big name movies. Let's see. Star Wars, Indiana Jones. 
Legends. Now see if the we're Godfather. going with Star Wars, I would like them to redo the prequels, so that it's like what J.J. Abrams is doing with the new trilogy he's doing up. Okay, that's basically my answer to this question. I want a competent director to remake the entire series. Like, all the way through. One through six. Make them all again. Mm. I wouldn't want them all. Just one through three. Uh, see, I just like, I want to see it remade. Just like, you know, same movie, but with upgraded effects and upgraded, you know, props and upgraded good. everything. Like, that would and upgraded, you know, film stock, upgraded sound quality, all that stuff upgraded. Like I said, I just want to see what would happen if they were to take the entire series and do it again. And would see what happens. Alter the script and whatnot? Oh, yeah. It's a new interpretation right the way through. It would be interesting to see. So you'd have, you know, set continuity... Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have all the weird errors and stuff that you have Which going I through. Hate. At least you shouldn't. Get rid of the midichlorians. This yeah. is so stupid. Oh, the midichlorians are running inside us. No! See, we're sci-fi after all. We don't have any fantasy. Get out! <laughs> was it was a space opera. Don't ruin it. Jerk. So what is... Just Star Wars prequels, your answer as well? Or did you have something else? No, just that. Okay. I can't really Another think option for me would be Transformers. That would be a good one to see. Redone. Basically any Michael Bay movie. <laughs> <laughs> so redo the Ninja Turtles that just got done. <laughs> yeah, that's that was bad. That one looked kind of really stupid. Because his demographic is always like 14-year-old boys. Mm-hmm. It's Not the people who grew up loving this stuff. I mean, it's, it's cool, but... Like, capitalizing off of nostalgia bad. and just doing bad movie stuff. That's basically what he does. I, I cringe to see what he does next. <sighs> okay, so... That was easy enough. Mm -hmm. next, in, next one comes in from Cameron. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! So, Grindhouse Films slash B-Movies... And how do you feel they hold up against big name films artistically? I have absolutely no idea. They're like a whole different spectrum, really. Like, the fun thing about B movies is that they use models and stuff. So it has a little more realistic, even though it's cheesy sometimes, feel. Whereas the big name movies, they're all like, Oh, I've got billions to spend. Just throw it all in CGI. It, 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 it's not it's not the same. I, I like the little models. Well, see, okay, the, the nice thing about B-movies is that they are a little bit more open to do stuff artistically. Mm -hmm. Because the big movies, like the, trip, the AAA movies, those often have to fit some sort of mold. Yeah. And, um... They are driven by profits because, you know, you put in so much money, you have to, you know, get a good product out that's going to get you money. Right. It has to appeal to so many people. Now, in some cases, you get people who still have the sort of B-movie mindset who get to make big movies. Like, for example, say, um, um, <sighs> Joss Whedon. Mm-hmm. Like, he's used to making small movies on small budgets. Mm -hmm. And he made The Avengers. Yep. And The Avengers 2. And especially the first one is really, really good. Yeah, it really is. I love it. It's like, so you just, you can get, you know, that. But the trick is finding a director who doesn't lose the mindset. So if you have things like, for example, very good example for a B movie. Star Wars Episode 4. That was a B movie. It was made for $10 million. Yep. I was watching some of the behind the scenes stuff of that. It is so good. And uh, it's like one of those things where, like, the technical limitations drove the creativity in a different way. Mm -hmm. And the, you know, just the sheer. The, the, the movie that they made was something that had never been done before. Right. So it's one of those things where the director just says, this is a movie that I really want to watch. 
but nobody's making it. Yep. I guess I'll make it myself. Yep. Which is always a good thing. Yeah. It's like and books. That's how, you, that's how you do that sort of thing. That's the mindset of writing, too. Mm-hmm. I don't see this book. I really want to read this book. I will write this book. Exactly. Um, so, do you have any input on this particular point? No, just the little bit that I had earlier. <laughs> so, okay, B-movies, it depends on the director. Anybody can make a B-movie. That's true. So, it's just a, a matter of, if the director is good, then you're going to have a good movie. But that is always the case. Like, if, if all the parts click, then you're going to have a good movie. And how much money that you have, the how much money you have doesn't play a huge part in it. It's just a matter of everybody who's making the movie, everyone who's involved in the movie, meshing in, yep. a, in a way that makes a good film. Okay, I think that's probably enough then. I think so. Next one is coming from Mr. Gray. Batman. Basically. <laughs> it has a ton of great movies, both live action and animated, for you to study it up on. Plus Harley Quinn Craigasm. <laughs> this isn't so, good I have no idea what this question is about, but I replied back to him earlier, and I'm like, hmm, Batman, okay. Glances at shelf. I've got almost all of the Batman films and stuff, <laughs> so it's like, I'm a little bit ahead of you there, Mr. Gray. It's like, so, I really like the, the animated films, in my opinion, are usually better than the live action films. Mm. Well, that's generally speaking, that's something you can say about superhero stuff. Now, it's like DC, that, that's their thing. I think I brought this up before, but DC really shines with the animated movies. Like, they're really good at it. Mm -hmm. It's like their live action stuff is kind of. They hit sometimes. They, they hit sometimes, but their miss is like a wide, like their target aim is like a little penny. And uh, very rarely do they hit it. Yeah. But more often than not, they miss it. I hear that the Flash TV show is good, but I just don't have any interest. Yeah, Flash is my favorite. Like, I like comic books, but I have a specific character set that I like to look at or watch. Like, X Men mm. is one of them from the Marvel. And then Batman is a majority of the DC. <laughs> with I, I really like how with the Batman series, sometimes you'll get like Green Arrow or you'll get Aquaman or uh, Green Lantern every so often to pop in. Okay, let's uh, let's just run through all of the Batman movies uh, from, say, 1980s onward. So starting with Batman starring uh, Michael Keaton. It's been a while since I've seen it. It's been a while for me, too, because I didn't like it. <laughs> it has a couple of good bits, it. but uh, beyond that, I'm, I'm not a big fan. They were still a little bit stuck. The, it's funny, because it kind of went back and forth, because in that movie, they were kind of stuck on the comic book stuff mm -hmm. and the cheesiness, mm -hmm. but... They were trying In to make it a little movie, realistic. The second movie went away, and that made me so happy. It's like, Because, mm. I mean, okay. So that movie, it had good parts. It definitely had good parts. But some of the scenes really dragged it down. And, yeah, it's I, I didn't enjoy that movie a whole lot. See, I tend to enjoy the animated ones a little more. Like, I really like... You're getting off topic! I don't! <laughs> care i don't want to talk about what you're talking about because <laughs> you're gonna go through each and every one of them it's like uh, i don't remember half of these i really don't my memory doesn't go that far back bah. it goes back maybe two years and then the rest well, I in that case memory. my favorite live action one from the first era was definitely the second one See, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch all these and feel like an idiot because it's like, oh, I really like this one, but I kind of like this one. I just realized that I named the one wrong earlier. Batman Forever is the one that has uh, oh. those two act like uh, Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones. See? Batman Returns is the one with uh, 
Danny DeVito as the Penguin. And that was a really good one. I like that one a lot. Uh, which is the one with Mr. Freeze? Arnold That would be Batman and Robin. See, I as cheesy and horrible as it was, I really like that one. It's really cheesy and horrible. That's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cheesy, horrible what stuff. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. <laughs> Plus, having Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze was kind of funny. Yeah. I mean, it's just funny. But I did like, oh, I can't even remember the one from that set. But I really liked the old one, like the 70s, what was it, 70s, 60s Batman movie. Just because it's really cheesy. I, I like it either has to be really cheesy, funny Batman, or it has to be really dark, serious, good <laughs> Batman. And even then, that sometimes just... Pfft. It's like Bane, and it just... Uh, the Dark Knight Rises was horrible! <laughs> like, there were good bits. Like, some bits were really good. Like, my favorite part in that movie is probably when Bane walks out into the football field. You know blows it up mostly it's just i don't explosions <laughs> uh well i think that we've covered enough batman for one podcast i think batman batman <clears throat> batman batman i like batman i need to read know all the batman stuff ah uh, so simmer player 27 asks what movie series do you think was ruined because they didn't know when to stop making sequels I don't follow these, but they probably were ruined because they beat the horse to death. Probably the Saw films, if they're still making those. Yeah. And then Final Destination. Like, anything that goes too far and they keep just going at it, even though there's Land nothing there. Land Before Time. Land Before... Oh my goodness. I mean, some of them are really good, but the I stopped first couple. Yeah, they made how many of those? I have no idea. Uh, they made, like, ten? Because <sighs> they were still going after my brother and I were too old and we didn't want to watch them anymore. But I liked the first few. The first one was really sad and depressing, but mm -hmm. I really liked it because it was dinosaurs, and I really liked dinosaurs. And that had the most delicious-looking leaf in cinematic history. I know, right? Like, what the heck? <laughs> leaf looked so good. You're like, I want to eat that leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I want I, a salad now! <laughs> ah, I want a star leaf salad. <laughs> was it? Uh, it was like star, star, what was it? Like, it was star remember. something. It was a star leaf. It was like star something. Oh, gosh. Um, let's Maybe see. Maybe beyond stars. Beyond that. Um, well, okay, they kind of jumped the shark with the Batman movies, going back to Batman. Uh, when it got to, like, Batman and Robin, that's where fourth sequels, uh, third sequels, uh, and Sometimes after that they rebooted, which was a smart thing to do. don't need to add more. Sometimes you could just stop. Like, Transformers. It's another one. Like, three was fine. Why are you making more? I didn't even watch the other one. Yeah, I haven't seen the newest Transformers. Like, Dark, was it Dark Side of the Moon or something like that? Yeah. I didn't watch it. It's just like, I watched the first two, and then after that, I'm like, this is horrible. Well, no part of what more. ruined those was Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> now I've got this long stick in my head. I hope you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you know, Michael Bay movies, and Michael Bay is not a good director. The only upside to Michael Bay movies is... Explosions! Yes! I love me some explosions, but he ruined Transformers, so he gets a deduction point for that. <laughs> like, you get points for explosions. You get points for really good explosions. You get deductions for ruining childhoods. <laughs> Funny how it works out that way. Stop it. But beyond that, let's see. I'm trying to think of, like, really long-running series that should have stopped. Um, most of the ones that I can think of are like horror movies and stuff, and I don't watch them, so it's kind of hard to say, hey, stop making me. I can't. One example that comes to mind would be the Star Trek movies. 
the but old it kind of goes back and forth. It kind because... of follows a storyline, so it's kind of like a really long episode of the TV show. Because okay, one is bad, two mm. is really good, three is pretty bad, four was well, it was okay, five was goofy and kind of bad, six was really good. Which one was the one where they had the whales? That was four. Okay. The that Voyage was, Home. Yeah, that was kind of... And then after that, they went to Generations, which I liked. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, First Contact, which I like. Then Insurrection, which is uh, kind of bad. See, and I don't remember that one. But it's not memorable. <laughs> and then Nemesis, which is worse. See, I don't know. I, I like the whole, hey, we cloned you, and now he's a bad guy sort of thing. I don't know. I've got, but then there's also I like, like hey, welcome back, Will Wheaton. I'm glad to see you're back in Starfleet again. Um, He went off to become a traveler in the TV show. Why is he in Starfleet? He's a super <laughs> cute being now. Why is he here? That doesn't make any sense. I'll get Will Wheaton, put him in the movie. It doesn't you know, that way. Because... I can't remember Insurrection. Insurrection oh. were like the uh, one species is trying to kick this other species off the planet to have the secret to like oh this one sort of stuff. Oh, I kind of liked it. It wasn't my favorite though. Yeah, like I said, I, I kind of liked, liked it, it, but it was bad. I always remembered it as an episode of the TV show, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's just something that would be part of the TV show. It's just, you forget, like, bits and pieces of it, so you're like, oh, that was all of the show, so that was part of an episode. It's like, no. Yeah. No, it wasn't. No. No. You know what I wish they would have done? Kind of contradicting the question, but I wish they had made a movie for Voyager. The, that could have been cool, but they I kind of it. they they it, tied it off though. Yeah, so there really wasn't. I mean, yeah. you got to see Janeway as an admiral in that one movie, so that mm -hmm. was kind of cool. But like other than that, yeah, it's they like, they got home. Yeah, it's like there was nothing hung. They weren't you know lost forever in space. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It would have been cool though. I it would have been surprised. Cool that was a good series, but at the same time, they don't need a movie because they. Tied it off at the end. So I guess they learned from their lesson and they didn't do one. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha! It's probably uh. something else. I can't think of what it is. Mm. So, anyway. What about Superman? Superman. Um, I... Yeah, those... I've I not heard good things about most of the Superman movies. Especially the new ones. Oh, my goodness. Oh, or Superman Returns? That horrible okay. movie. If the if Man of Steel had been made in a vacuum without any other uh, Superman stuff, it would have been pretty good. But it breaks so much Superman continuity mm -hmm. that it kind of flies in the face of itself. I can't wait to see how bad or good Batman vs. Superman is going to be. Plus, Superman's just a terrible character anyway. <laughs> It's funny, though, because in Batman vs. Superman, that one scene where you see you know, Batman in his really cool suit standing on the ground and Superman's kind of hovering, it reminded me of The Dark Knight Returns. Yep. Because, you know, Batman's older and Superman's kind of, you know, political dude. It's just like, I don't know, I wonder. Because the suit itself is clearly Frank Miller style, so. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It it'll be interesting. Yep. So, another question from SimmerPlayer27. What do you think makes a movie great? What do you need to see in the movie to make it enjoyable for you? Good acting. <laughs> good acting, very important. Good directing, very important. Good mm -hmm. pacing, very important. I mean, I don't care if you've got CGI or models or stuff. If there's no good acting, acting it's just... It's awful. It also depends on what the movie is. Mm -hmm. Because, like, for example, The Hobbit. 
I went into it expecting to see, you know, the last third of the book. And what I got was a red hand-shaped smack mark in the center of my face from <laughs> face palming so hard watching the movie. And then there's me, who, having never read the book, which I think is a vital part of this, I never read the book, so I had no idea how horribly off it was from the book series. I just thought it was kind of funny that they made this tiny little book into a three movie yeah see, uh, see okay this is the point that i have to make about the hobbit it should have been two movies because if you take page for page between the hobbit and lord of the rings the hobbit has way more going on in it like the lord of the rings you know it's a huge book but a lot of it is walking mm -hmm. and describing stuff and that sort of thing and that's fine and i like it but it doesn't take a whole lot of narrative time mm -hmm. with the hobbit it's constantly stuff happening it's scene by scene of stuff happening people talking and you know stuff yeah so it's not it, it did need the two movies to get all of the detail in there but they just dropped the ball so hard and it's funny though because <sighs> like the first movie i really liked it i still like it it's got, you know, bits of fun hand in it, you know, comedy and stuff, which I think is the main part of why I like it. And then the second one, you know, you got the dragon. Hello? Yes. I love dragons. Dragon. So that was cool. But then the third movie is kind of like, you're dragging it now at this point. It's just... Dragoning no. it. It's you're dragoning it. I was so upset that Smog wasn't in as much of the third movie as I was hoping. But I mean, it was inevitable. So, but I mean, the third movie was good and not at the same time. See, I would have directed that movie differently. Of course you would. I would have directed all of the movies differently. Of course you would have. Of course I would have. You are not Peter Jackson. Uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things. But yeah, acting. Uh, yeah, it really depends on what the movie is. Make it enjoyable. Uh, basically, I want to see what I was expecting. Unless, because see, I'm talking about all this acting and stuff, and I enjoyed Sharknado. <laughs> but I enjoyed it knowing fully that it was a horrible mess of what in the world. Yeah, And it's, that's why I wanted to see it. It was just ridiculous. so but badly hilarious. It's another Rift Tracks we'll have to see. Mm. Which, it barely needs the Rift Tracks, but still. <laughs> it's funny by itself. Just watch yeah. it. So, that, yeah, that pretty much covers that. So, Dark Mimi asks, Hollywood versus Vidya Games. <laughs> or more eloquently, why does Hollywood insist on making bad movie versions of video games? For the money. And they don't know what they're doing. The real reason behind this is because most of the video game movies that you have heard of were directed by Uwe Boll who's a horrible freaking director. <laughs> I heard the Resident Evil movie was pretty good. Like the first I've, and yeah, then the I've second one. Decent things about the Resident Evil movies. I'm not interested. I won't watch them, but still. I would only watch them for Mia Jovovich. Because I really like her. Because she was in Ultraviolet. And that's a movie that I really like her in. It's a really weird, kind of bad movie. But I still <laughs> like it. Um, you should watch Aeon Flux. I think I have. It's a kind of cool movie. I don't remember much about it. It's kind and of... Then, oh, <laughs> what was it called? A Scanner Darkly or Dark Scanner? Yeah, yeah. A Scanner that Darkly. One, that one was really weird, but it was so cool. Like, the visuals yeah. and stuff. That was interesting, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see, um... Uh, the Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> okay, that. They took something and then they completely like... Pfft. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's really cheesy and goofy and has nothing to do with Mario. Mm -hmm. Well, Nintendo wasn't even part of like the making of it, was yeah, they? So they just I, like I, licensed it out. Probably. But so see, if I they... Mean, like I said, it was 
it wasn't as bad as some people say it is. At least I don't think so. But it certainly wasn't great. I could see a new Mario Brothers. Oh, that's a movie I'd like to see remade. Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. It's like really cool, like Mario and Luigi, you know. So they basically, head to the castle. it's basically uh, a game. Super Mario Boom. But... Oh gosh, no! Like what they do with Sonic Boom? No. I mean no. that's that sort of style. No. Like no. not, no. not exactly what they're doing with all the no. character changes. Just you know that sort of CG. No, no, not CG. Do live action. Oh. Okay. I don't know how well it would work, but do live action. Well, Bowser would have to be CG. <laughs> he would, yeah. Well, I mean, like the people could be you know live action and then like some of the stuff could be cgi but it would be interesting because you know then you have mario and luigi you know they've been beckoned to the castle to do something i don't know they're gonna have eat a party cake. they're gonna eat cake like every other time and then they discover oh no bowser's here oh what do you think you're doing bowser Oh, 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 oh. Then he kidnaps Peach, and then they have to go on an adventure to save Peach. <laughs> of course. We're going on an adventure! <laughs> uh, let's see. It's the Hobbit meet Mario. <laughs> now, I know that it's not a video game and that we already talked about it, but Clue is a fantastic movie. It's a board game, so it's kind of a video game, but not. They made a video game version. It's true, they did, so technically, but it was based off the board game, so. But, yeah, it was really good. And I love how there were so many alternate endings. But, uh, let's see. Was it... Silent Hill, was that a good movie series? I don't know. I, I hear the first one was good, and then it was, like, one of those things where they should have stopped. Well, they should have done that with the games, too. <laughs> well, apparently they stopped. <laughs> Much to everybody's dismay. Yeah. Um. Well, at least like with the one that they were making, they were trying to make it scary and not make it an action game with scary, creepy stuff in it. Ah. Because it was supposed to be just scary. That was the idea. It looked kind of creepy. Um. But anyway, let's see. Uh. What other. Like, okay, Dead or Alive was a terrible movie. The first Mortal Kombat movie I really liked as a kid. I haven't seen it, so I can't say. I just remember everybody liked the first one. Then it's everything else it's not like... a great movie. It's okay. But I really Mortal liked it as a kid. The second Kombat. one is horrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's see. What other video game movies are there? Let's see. There's Resident Evil. Da -da 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 -da. Violent Hill. Mario Brothers. Wasn't there one recently? Oh, World of Warcraft coming out. That looks cool. I, I wonder. See that. I wonder how well that one will turn out. Let's see. Um, I heard Final Spider list. Fighter is bad. Prince of Persia was kind of a cool movie. Prince of Persia was a cool movie. Uh, Tomb Raider. They made a couple of those, and they were okay. They made two of those. I like the second one more than the first one. I think the second one was better. Mm -hmm. um, they those made a good. Hitman movie that I heard was bad, but they're making a new Hitman movie that looks kind of cool. It does look really cool. I've watched the trailer for it. Um, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within was horrendous. I like Advent Children. Advent Children's okay. Advent Let's Children's see, pretty good. I don't follow Final Fantasy at all. I just like, you know, the scenery and stuff. Yeah, it's like it has very good CGI. It mm -hmm. has cool uh, choreography for the fight scenes. Which I liked. Uh, like, the I Hobbit was awesome. Uh, let's see, let's see. Doom I heard bad things about. Yeah. <laughs> it looked awful from the trailers alone. What other movies are based off? Video games. Not a ton. I mean, lots of them are like old. Um. Game Some of them are just that... animated. Let's see, because like a lot of these, I have either never seen or never heard much of. Mm -hmm. Street Fighter, I heard was pretty cheesy. <laughs> Double Dragon, I didn't know they made a game, a movie out of. 
Well, they did. Apparently oh. so. Max Payne. Apparently I vaguely recall that one being made. Ah. Let's see. And they're making a bunch. Let's see. In development currently, Heavenly Sword. That could be interesting, especially Ooh. if they get Rihanna Pratchett to write it. Terry it Pratchett's cool. daughter was the chief of story in that game. It would be so cool if she did the That could be interesting. Right? Um, she I wonder if I did, should put the... She did the story of the newest uh, Tomb Raider game. The remake? Yeah, the reboot thing. I have it, and I haven't played it yet. Let's see. Angry Birds will probably be terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember Un hearing about that. Uncharted could be cool. Uncharted could be cool. If it could it's be... done well, it'll be an Indiana Jones movie. And oh, yeah. That would be great. Definitely. Um, Assassin's Creed could be cool. Could be. It could be really cool if they pull it off well enough. We'll see. They, apparently, they're making a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That could That's go good. good or bad. Mass Effect movie. I would love to see that. That could go good. It's just, it they really depends. It really not depends. Doing a uh, Tomb Raider and a Mortal Kombat reboot. Minecraft oh, really? movie. Five Minutes at Freddy's movie. Oh, God, no. See, I will watch the Minecraft movie just out of pure curiosity. And apparently, I had heard a while ago that they were going to make a Slender Man movie. Now, that that's not, creepy. not technically video games. Um, they, eh. But they've made, you know... Uh, like the the two slender games were based off of um, the Marble Hornet stuff, very yeah. strongly. So, and that you know is uh, alternate reality YouTube series. <sighs> and you know mm -hmm. that's probably what they based the movie off of. So, could I think be. They just it's not so much they insist on making bad ones. <laughs> uh my nose. It's just that but, so far, they haven't been taken seriously enough to get a good budget or a good production team. Exactly. They just won't let it be what it could be. And that's a jerk move. So hopefully these new ones that they're going to come out with. Warcraft, I have very high hopes for. Because Blizzard is good with that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They're really good with like cinematic. And I like Warcraft. Like I, I just like the world. That was like one of the games that I, I... I played Warcraft 2 until I no longer liked RTS games. Wow. <laughs> so many hours put in. And I put a lot of time into World of Warcraft. And no regrets. I like the game. It's fun. And I stopped playing it years ago, but, you know, I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, Except for, like, levels 30 through 40. That was kind of a slog. Uh. Um, anyway. Our last question comes in from Arcade Android. What was the first movie you remember watching in theaters? This, this is a hard one. We were looking at it earlier going, uh... I don't remember. Because I personally don't remember, but my mom will tell the story of when we went and saw the DuckTales movie in theaters and how they played the theme song and at the woohoo part, everybody's like, woohoo! <laughs> So you can imagine the whole theater filled with parents and kids just woohoo, mm. singing along to the mm. theme song. But the one movie that I do remember that I think was the first one, which it wasn't really the first movie I saw because I think DuckTales was the first movie or maybe like a Disney film. I don't know. But the one that I remember was uh, VeggieTales movie, the Jonah VeggieTales movie. I have the DVD of it. I've got the soundtrack. Because, <laughs> you know, music. But that, that's the first movie I vaguely remember. Like, I don't even remember the movie. I remember us going in there. I remember vaguely getting, like, snacks and stuff. And then we smuggle in some snacks and stuff. <laughs> like, we would get the popcorn, but we'd smuggle in, like, the drinks and the candy and stuff. But I don't really remember the movie that much. Watching it in the theater. I remember the movie, but I don't remember it in the theater. And then I remember us leaving and going, that was a good movie. And we were humming and singing along to what all songs we could remember as we were driving back home. So that's... Uh, yeah. Cause I, 
I guess the earliest that I can remember is I just did a little research. 1997. <laughs> I remember watching Jurassic Park The Lost World and the Star Wars Special Edition release oh. in the theater that year. So that's probably the earliest that I remember, but I have also heard a story. My dad likes to tell stories of back when my hometown had a theater, and apparently we watched uh, The Fox and the Hound in oh, the theater, wow. and apparently we had the run of the place. Ha <laughs> ha! That's always fun. Yeah, I don't remember this happening, but again, that's the earliest that I can remember was going to see Jurassic Park The Lost World. Supposedly, we went and saw the, all the Star Wars films when they released, but I don't even remember that. Of course not. That was in 1970s. No, not those. The prequels. Special, no, oh, the, the prequels. I, I remember seeing all the prequels. We probably went and saw the re-releases, but I, I don't I saw that episode either. three three times in the theater. <laughs> I only paid for it once. That's funny. Because I went... <laughs> With a friend of mine, I went with my brother, and I went with my parents. Ah. So if you go see a movie with me, you don't have to pay at all. Woo! If we go to a specific theater. A specific run type of theaters. Mm -hmm. specific, a specific theater company. There you go. Specific company. I think that the uh, theater that I usually go to up in Toledo... Uh has that I think it's a rave motion picture okay so that should work and that would be yeah but so I uh think. that's all the questions that we have yeah that is haha -ha. I like uh, how each episode just gets longer and longer <laughs> that's fine good to hey, have it works an hour and a half two hour podcast that's more you know uh readily accepted podcast length yeah, because, I mean, the other one was just way too short. Mm -hmm. But it was just me talking, so it's kind of like a vlog without the video. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of stupid. So, that's why I got me a co-host. Yeah! So we could have hour and a half long conversations about one topic. <laughs> yes. Discussions and whatnot. So, I picked this week's topic. I'm going to let you have at it and pick the topic for next week. Topic for next week. Hmm. Board games. Should have known. <laughs> it's something I do. That's true, it is. Something you do, something you play. Yes, I like board Alright, then. So, uh, if you guys have... Also, another thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, ask questions about, about board games, but also, um, we would like to hear suggestions for segments. Like, what would you like to hear every week about? Like, we, we would, uh, it would be nice if we could have, you know, a couple of different things that we do every week other than just ask, just, just answer questions. So, it'd be, yeah, if you have any suggestions for anything that you would like to hear weekly. I kind of like the introduction segue sort of thing. Yeah. Like the, what we were doing, what we're up to, blah, yep. blah, blah. But yeah, if you want to hear about, you know, video game progress or... Yeah. Uh, I I think on this channel they'd be more interested in anime and manga progress, but that's not even that's not going on. <laughs> I bought a manga uh, two years ago. Yeah, see that that's the problem. Right now, that's the problem because this channel was founded on thousands of subs well, a thousand subscribers who. We're interested in the anime and manga aspect of my life. So it's like, now it's kind of like, hey, I'm not that into that anymore. Now I've got this stuff I like. Yeah, ah. it's, it's evolving. That's fine. It is. Which everybody should have known was going to happen because I don't settle on one thing for too long. Like, I still like anime and manga. I just don't have all the time and the money that I used to have when mm -hmm. I started the channel. And you have more interests. Just I'm, good. I'm an adult. Yeah. Who likes a busy adult games. with many important things to do. I hate adulting. I don't want to adult anymore. Like tonight, I don't want to adult. 
Can I just stay home and stream? That's what I want to do. I quit my day job. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I could do that to them. You quit your day job, you should set, uh, set up a new life in the north. Uh... So, again, that's uh, what we would like for next week. If you yep. would be so kind as to oblige us of our requests. The comment section is at your reign. Have at it. But don't go too crazy. Yeah. For I mean, uh, examples of what not to do, check out the uh, YouTube comments on any other video anywhere. <laughs> don't be a jerk. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. That's not smart. It's so funny. They'll do it anyway, though. <laughs> Just a spite. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, well. Shouldn't have brought it up, really. Yep. Now they're going to do it all purpose. Be like, <laughs> uh. But either way, thanks for tuning in. We had fun. Yes, we did. I, and I hope you guys had fun listening. So thanks for tuning in. And as always, see you next time. <laughs> Better than, better than, better than.